All right, evening everybody. This is Anthony from Amped Airsoft, and today we're going to talk about something important for CQB month, and that's going to be holster placement. Um, it's a lot of things to consider when you place your holster for your pistols, and drawing your sidearm could be the difference between you walking back to respawn or you getting to keep playing, or if in a more real situation, it could be the difference between you being dead or alive. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about different types of placements for your holsters and some different options that you could use to adjust your placement of your holster to make it more efficient for you. Traditionally, holsters live at your belt line. Um, this goes all the way back to pioneer days, all the way back to the beginning of time. So um, the simplest, most direct solution that people place for their holster is directly on their hips. Um, what you see right here is this is my actual HSGI battle belt. Um, and this is typically where I run my holster. Um, it's, it's preference, but it's just something to keep in mind. There are different ways to do it. Um, this is mounted in a, this is a KWA M9. It's mounted in a Blackhawk Serpa holster on their Molly mount. Um, the Molly mount also allows for all kinds of different options, which we'll get into in a little bit. Um, depending on what school of thought you are trained in or what your preferences are, you may move your holsters to different places. Um, one of the new products that's come out recently um, to adjust where you hold your, put your holster, this is the Costa drop leg. Now there are two Costa drop legs. There's one that has taco pouches built all over it with pistol and rifle mag ones. And there's this flat one, um, both of which are made by HSGI. Um, they come with that Chris Costa price tag, so just keep that in mind. Um, but what this does is it loops around your battle belt and then puts a flat molly panel down on your thigh. So if you have a molly mounted Serpa or G-Code or other Safari Land, other type of holster, it's easy for you to drop it down and put it at a more natural angle for grasp. Um, some other options you could go with, or you could go with some different soft and hard holsters that are drop legs. Um, this one is a drop down holster, um, it's by Condor. It comes with a pistol mag, all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, it also has the loops to drop it from your belt. This holster um, is a universal holster, you can use just about any pistol with it. Um, one thing to keep in mind though is that a nylon holster, um, it's not the best for securing your your pistols to your body so you tend to run into problems where you might lose your mags your pistol might fall out so just keep that in mind um, but it is the most cost-effective option so if you're on a budget you know you could go that way um, with the molly mount um, on the serpa or like this condor molly mount pistol holster right here it allows you to adjust so let's say you don't even have a belt um, if you're wearing any kind of plate carrier you can adjust and put this on your cummerbund, or you can put this low center if you're not running too many M4 mags or any rifle mags or anything like that. Um, another option is to do something that I used to do when I was in the Army, and that's called a chest mounted pistol. Um, what you would do is you would have your molly mount right here on your, on your body. Um, not recommended and not really cool. Not a lot of people let you do it. So <laughs> in a real situation, it's not something to keep in mind, but what it allows you to do is it allows you to sew your pistol up and out of the way so that you have to get in and out of vehicles or move around or anything like that. It's easy to do. Just some finer points to keep in mind. Um, different holsters have different types of uh, retention. Stuff like Safari Lands and G-Codes and uh, Blackhawk Serpas and stuff like that, they typically have a draw feature and a lock. So this pistol and this holster, the way it's designed, it will not allow you to access the trigger at all, which allows you, if you need to, to keep the pistol and on, a, on, on fire and not on safe. Um, and it, what you do is to, re to release the pistol, you hit the activation button and it lets the pistol release from the holster. Um, nylon holsters don't have that and that also comes running into the problem where since it's loose and since it doesn't have that hard type of retention, you might lose the pistol. So just keep that in mind. Um, at Amped Airsoft, we carry all kinds of stuff. We carry Blackhawk holsters. We can get a hold of other brands. Um, we have Condor holsters, uh, Pantac holsters, all kinds of crazy stuff. If you guys are looking for anything particular, don't be afraid to message us. We can find it. And this has been Anthony from Amped Airsoft. Check us out at Facebook, YouTube, um, our website, and all the other cool stuff. All right, talk to you later.